Hey everyone, welcome to RBNY post-match media availability following the New York Rebels 1-0 loss against Orlando City SC. Uh, we will start with an opening statement from head coach Garrett Struber and then we will take questions. Coach, you have the floor. Yeah, I think uh, of course we <coughs> expect a different result in the end. Um, I would say they have uh, not so much chances today. I think the, the system worked. Um, Defensively, in a, in a good direction, it was one time um, a little bit um, out of order, and this was enough in the end. Yeah? We have 60 minutes time to change that, um, and in this direction, we we played nice, yeah? but not, uh, I think, uh, on this limit, what we have to go in, in some actions when we play forward, uh, with uh, a better timing in forward runs, with... Um, uh, to find in the end more numbers quicker in transition moments uh, in the last line. I think we was, yeah, in some moments uh, good on the way, but uh, um, this was not enough in the end to to yeah to bounce back in th in this game with um, with the right um, um, goals what we have to score. Yeah, I think uh, in the end uh, um, a disappointed situation, uh, a difficult situation for 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 me and for my team at the moment. I think this is MLS poor. Uh, I think we have to realize that that uh, the situation right now is uh, not easy, and uh, and uh, I think we need, uh, especially at the moment, uh, a big each other, uh, a big belief uh, uh, to bounce back. And uh, yeah, uh, I think this is. Um, also a big mental test uh, for us at the moment uh, to find uh, better results. I think the boys worked, um, yeah, on a good in a good direction. But uh, this game show us one more time we need limit action and uh, and uh, and 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 situations that the boys comes on the border or out of the border that you can win uh, uh, in the end games. And um, yeah, I missed this a little bit. I think we was. Uh, um, good in this game, but uh, in the end, it uh, was not enough um, to win. Mike, oh, there we go. <laughs> we will now take questions. Please raise your hand and I'll call and you ask coach questions. First thing I saw was John Lupo. John, you have the floor. Uh, Gerhard, it seemed like you had some good moments, as you said, in transition, getting forward, getting down the wings, and you were getting chances uh, towards the net, but you only had one shot on goal. What do you think was what do you think maybe they were doing or you didn't do that you weren't as clinical as you would have liked to have been when you were getting forward and you were getting you know chances going towards their goal? Yeah, I think in, in some moments you need in the build-up um, um, a, a better understanding to use the space. I think this is uh, how we how we crash the first line, and this is always uh, easier to come in the end in better in better follow actions. And I think uh, in transition moments, of course, we can see. I think uh, we have uh, from the from the decision what we did, yeah? not always the right one. This was sometimes we could triple more and more in the box. We had space, and then we play too too quick. I think the 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 the, the understanding how we come in good combination moments together. This is um, right now, uh, I think, a little bit um, the issue. And also, I think uh, um, that we have in the end um, the moment to be clinical. I think we have in the first half uh, a top chance with Luis. Um, in the second half, I think, so half-half moments uh, with with many shoots. But in the end, I think uh, we need in situations like that, when we go in shooting moments, also the eye uh, for the the player, he has maybe a better a better angle to, to score. And I think in these moments, we was a little bit overpaced or overload uh, to to bounce back in this game, and uh, and uh, I miss a little bit the, the freedom in this moment. Next, we go to Gary Revan. Uh, 
Yeah, I think of course this is um, a little bit uh, a topic what we have to improve in the in the next uh, few days and uh, and um, and of, or weeks uh, that uh, the boys uh, bounce back to find good decisions and good passes. I think uh, we was in some moments not clean enough. Uh, uh, also, I think uh, to find the right player that we have a better orientation, which player is uh, in the end uh, a player he can make uh, uh, from his uh, position uh, the different. And we have in decisions and in. Uh, yeah, in, 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 and to find the right position in the box uh, today, um, yeah, of course, uh, um, not uh, best moments. And uh, and we can see when they stay, they park a bus in the in the box. You can see this sometimes. Then it's not so easy. But then you have to move the bus from one side to the other side and work for space. And in these moments, we have not always the patience to come and in wide areas and and bring uh, the bus outside. Yeah, and and. I think this is so uh, f um, in this direction what we have to work uh, when an opponent uh, uh, stays so deep um, and park the bus so deep in, in our box. We have time for two more questions with Coach. First, we'll go to Ben Cork, and then we'll finish off with Daniel Rubin. I want to get to your heart. Obviously, you said last week that the team might need to go into the mode that they went into late last year to sort of get clean sheets and be structured defensively first. Did you think besides the goal that that happened today and you might be able to put this game plan into results against Atlanta and Cincinnati next week? Yeah, I think uh, of course. I think uh, from the defense, uh, from, I think the balance today was 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 okay. I think they have nothing. The only goal what they score. I think then. Um, Carlos has nothing to do. I cannot remember that he has uh, many to do's today. And uh, and I think that the, the structure, the behavior against the ball work um, in a in a good direction. Uh, I think we could be in some moments in the counter pressing a little bit better. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the, the topic is more how we handle uh, uh, moments uh, on the wide areas with uh, more efficiently one one moments that we come better in the wide areas inside and then we need of course cross balls with a clear address and I think uh, in this direction uh, we can work also with the right runnings in the box uh, that we have in the end always in enough numbers and all also the numbers in the right position and then I think yeah one more time it's uh, a situation it's it's not so easy uh, but this is also what you have to take in this league moments where you stay clear together with a clear identity, very clarity, what we want from the boys, and also a big heart. And uh, I think, yeah, right now it's a test, and, uh, and, uh, and, and, um, and we have to yeah, bring the test in a good direction. And we'll finish off with Daniel Urbain. Yeah, I think this is so the consequence when you develop players uh, like John is a good example. I think in this direction that the other clubs have interest. Uh, it's not a big surprise. And uh, yeah, I think he's very reliable uh, in, 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 in his um, actions. And this is the reason why he is a starter player and he has uh, and, um, selected so many minutes. Uh, I think, yeah, he's very reliable. He's a player. He uh, has a very good anticipation, especially in our world of football, to read the moment. And, and on the same time, we have also to work uh, um, about his output. Yeah? I think this could be also um, on a higher level. His technical ability is very, very high. Also, his tactical understanding standing and we work with him together that we bring also I think so we make so the next step together also that the output uh, is on a higher level and I think we of course I have big trust in him and uh, and he's a player um, yeah he, I think his future is with him coach thank you for joining us we appreciate your time we'll be back with New York Rebels midfielder Daniel Ottoman